What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we got ourselves a fun one. We got ourselves a Cloud Sire team for Regulation D that also features some strong Pokemon like Shen Pao and Dragapult, and also for Rigoref, who's low-key very, very powerful in Regulation D. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But like I said, we got Cloud Sire today. Really cool Pokemon that you don't get to see too much. So I'm hoping we get to rock out with that, grab ourselves some wins, and maybe even a winning record while using this Pokemon. But first Pokemon for today's team preview is going to be Dragapult. Dragapult, super, super fast, super powerful next to Shen Pao, has the Choice Band and the Clear Body as its ability, with Dragon Darts, Phantom Force, U-Turn, and Terra Blast, which will turn into a Ghost-type move, because that's our Terra type. In our second slot is going to be Dragapult's best friend for today's video. It's going to be Shen Pao, Swords of Ruin, Focus Sash as item, Ice Spinner, Throat Chop, Sucker Punch, and Protect. So everything's pretty normal, just switching out Sacred Sword for Throat Chop in the moveset. And I actually really, really like that because there's been multiple situations, such as like if Indeed and Armor is on the field, where I want to use Throat Chop or like I can't use Sucker Punch and would love to use a Dark Move. This is, it works out perfectly, so I'm actually excited for this moveset. Third Pokemon is going to be Frigoraph, and like I said when I was uh, mentioning this team, this Pokemon is low-key very good in Regulation D, and the reason I say that is for two reasons. One, it has access to Imprison and Trick Room, which we have on it today, so we can stop all Trick Rooms from coming out on the field. It's really, really powerful that way. Another reason why I say it's really, really good is because it stops first turn priority with its ability Armor Tail. As you guys know, Shen Pao Urshifu Dragonite is a big combo in Regulation D. Having Frigoraph out on the field can stop all that first turn priority. Frigoraph also has safety goggles as item, and it's rocking Psy Shock, Dazzling Gleam, and like I already mentioned, in Prison and Trick Room, which I love for its moveset. Cloud Sire, the star of the show, is in our fourth slot with Water Absorb and the Citrus Berry as item. It's got Water Terra, it is a Poison and Ground type with Gunk Shot, Stomping Tantrum, Yawn, and Helping Hand, so it has access to two support moves and two heavy hitting stab moves. And our fifth slot is going to be Iron Hands. Everything is pretty normal with this Pokemon. Very, very strong all around and good on any team. It's got Cork Drive, Assault Vest, Fake Out, Drain Punch, Wild Charge, and Heavy Slam. In the final slot is going to be Fluttermane. I should say Substitute Fluttermane because it's Rock and Substitute. It's got Shadow Ball, Moon Blast, Protect, adds its other three moves, and then it's got the Booster Energy as its item. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right-hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Cloud Sire Regulation D team. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a tough little squad here. They got Dragapult just like us, which is really cool, but they also have Tornadas and Urshfu and Dragapult, or not Dragapult, and uh, Dragonite. So they got Dragonite and Dragapult with Urshfu, Tornadas, Gudra, and Arcanine. Thank God they do not have Shen Pao, but I have Shen Pao of my own. Um, Who should I go into? I might want to go into Frigoraph here. I could go Shen Pao, Drag Dragapult. That could be pretty good for us, but I could also just go Frigoraph and maybe just pop a Trick Room. That could definitely be helpful. I could actually go in on that side. Maybe go fake out Iron Hands alongside Frig Graph, bring Cloud Sire in the back end. We could slow it down this match, and I kind of like that. I kind of like slowing it down here. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go into them, and in the back end, I'm just going to go Shen Pao. We got some first turn priority. We got all that good stuff. I'm definitely with it. I definitely like it. I am a little scared of the Gudra. Everybody should always be scared of the Gudra. It's just so bulky. You can't really do much about it. But we'll see. We'll see. But if you guys want to support me a little bit extra above and beyond subscribe, make sure you guys consider becoming a member. There's a join button down below, and there is a link down in the description below if the join button is not there. So huge shout out to all my members. You guys are the real ones. Thank you guys so much for uh, supporting the channel a little bit extra. But I don't know who they're going to lead. This one seems like it could be tough, right? Not too sure. Not too sure here, but hopefully we get things started off here with a win. Considering the last video, we tore it up. If you guys haven't checked out the video, it was like 16 minutes, three matches. We almost swept every single match. We were just tearing up with Regilecki and Pelper. But Dragapult and Arcanine are going to come out here. Um, uh, do I... Do I... I got a Tarasalize here. I'm definitely going to Tarasalize and pop a trick one. And on top of that, I'm going to... Oh, he's not Intimidate. I'm just going to Drain Punch into you then, right? This seems good for me. Actually, let's just fake out. Let's just play it smart here. Let's get this Trick Room out and about. Let's fake out first turn, and we'll go from there. But I could have just Drain Punched into Arkham, which maybe I should have, but uh, I think we're fine. 
We can always do it next turn. But I'm gonna Terrasilize my Frigoraph here. Do not want to die out to like a Shadow Ball or whatever Ghost move that thing's rocking. It's always scary. Plus, if it's going for a Dragon move, it will be Fairy, which is awesome. It's such a good Terra type for Frigoraph. But yeah, I feel as a Trick Room, the Trick Room side was definitely a play. I can get Cloud Side a little love in here. We can get some speed going on our side as well. I like it. So Frigoraph getting that Terra right off the rip. Good old giraffe. I absolutely love Frigoraph. I don't really like giraffe rig that much. I don't know why, but I like Frigoraph. <laughs> it's weird. It's a, it's, it's a weird kind of thing for me. But I fake out the Arcanine. Dragapult is going to U-turn. Nice little terror on us. And who's he going to swap into is the real question. Who are you going to swap into? I'm getting this trick him off no problem. No problem. No problem. I'm curious to see who's going to swap into Urshifu and come out here. I don't mind Urshifu. I mean, kind of a weird swap to go into. Considering now I can just wild charge you straight down, which is going to be my play. And we'll go from there. So, I could Gleam. I think I'm just going to go for a Psy Shock, do as much damage to Arcanine. And I'm just going to wild charge. Oh, this is Dark Urshifu. That's scary. That's a little scary. But Drain Punch should be able to get enough damage done. That is scary. Dark Urshifu. Yeah. That is weird. You don't you don't see that often, right? The, the water Urshifu is more so the main the main culprit. But yeah, and you know what? I'm gonna go side shock here, and I'm gonna stick with my Drain Punch into the Urshifu. So let's we'll see what he wants to do. He's gonna Terrasilize Urshifu, and hopefully he's just staying dark. I would kind of like that a lot. Let's see if this thing stays dark. He's gonna go Jolly Roger, Pirate Flag, Skull and Bones, Poison on his head. Because he's gonna rip Poison here. Okay, so Poison Terror comes out of here. I do have Cloud Sire to deal with that a little bit. Nice little stop and catch him and get some work done. And Psy Shock's in the fly here. So he gets some Psy Shock, not bad damage. I like that damage on Arcanine. And he's just gonna fly with some down. So he's gonna take some recoil. A Psy Shock will now KO it. And I wonder who Urshfu's going for. You're gonna take out my Frigraph, aren't you? Hey, okay, that's fine. So if Frigraph dies out here, we can now bring out the Cloud Sire. And I think we're sitting in a pretty good spot at this point, right? Because I can Drain Punch, finish off the Arcanine, and on top of that, I can go for a Stop Cantrum and probably take out the Urshfu. Now that's Poison Terror. I don't mind. I love Cloud Sire. Yo, look at him. He's so adorable. Wait, wait till he comes out here. I just want to get a giant plush of this thing. Give it a hug. Maybe use it as a pillow. That thing's so cool. I love Cloud Sire. Look at him. Yo, look at that face. How can you hate Cloud Sire? But from here, I'm going to pop a stop and catch him. I'm also going to go into a nice lovely Drain Punch into Arcanine slot. And like I said, if they don't do anything, we should be able to pick up the double KO pretty easily here. Pretty, pretty easily. We'll see. We'll see. I still have Terra. I still have Shen Pao in the back end, which is great because we only have a few more turns left in Trick Room. Go from here. We'll see how this one plays. Good old Cloudy. He ends up withdrawing the Arcanine. Into whom? Who are you going to go into? Who's taking the Strain Punch? Dragon it. Okay, so we get off with multi scale. I'm going to punch it off. And we'll go from there. He's going to Sucker Punch me. How dare you? Wow, that actually did an absurd amount of damage, right? That did do an absurd amount of damage. But I do have Citrus Berry, which is dope. I'm able to get some HP back. And we'll go from there. Stop the tantrum cooking out here. Get this thing on out here. Cloud Sire getting some work done, which we love. And I get a crit on top of that. We were KOing it regardless. So I get the KO. They still have Arcanine. And we'll pop this little Drain Punch. Drain Punch. Doing about five. <laughs> doing about five damage. Rocky Helmet actually did more to us than that Drain Punch did to him, which is hilarious. So we get off some Rocky Helmet damage. And we have a few turns left to trick him. So he could E speed me. Kind of wish we had for a graph, but I think Cloud Sire should be able to eat up an E-Speed. And Dragon Pult's going to come out here. The Pult comes out and about. Like I said, we should be able to eat up an E-Speed. How many turns are left in Trick Room? We have two. And I kind of want to try to pull off Gunk Shot. I kind of want to, but I'm just going to go stop and catch him. Get off some damage onto the Pult, and... Hmm, do I double down? I might just double down into you. I'm just gonna double down Dragonite. I'm double down into Dragonite. Even though Pult's a little bit of a problem, I can always sucker punch it later if I need to. 
Ooh, this is coming down to this is gonna be a close one. So he's gonna e-speed me. I should be able to eat that. Yes, I do. Dope, awesome gunk shot is going to land, which is big time for us. And we get off some big time damage. Some lovely damage. The wild charge now flies. We KO the Dragonite. We're gonna take a Rocky Helmet and recoil. Oh, oh, it's just ugly. That's just real ugly. And I wonder what Pult's going for here. I'm curious to see what Pult's going for. He goes for a Phantom Force. So if Phantom Force dips, um, okay. Do I hard swap? Do I hard swap Iron Hands? It's a real question. I think I am, just so we can fake out later. Because the thing is, oh wait, does Arcanine have E speed? Yeah, that could hurt us. That could hurt us. I'm just gonna double down to Arcanine, just in case it has E speed. Yep. It's exactly. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna actually get HP back. I was gonna swap into Shen Pao. I was gonna do that just so we get fake out later. But this actually works out perfectly because now I pick up the KO and we pretty much win this match, right? All day. I got Focus Sash. I can constantly spam Sucker Punch. Phantom Force should not kill me here. We should be good. We should be good. They have no Terra. We still have Terra, but I just haven't used it yet. There's just been really no play for me to actually use it. Oh no, I did use it with Frigraph. Never mind. I'm a liar. I'm a liar. I always forget about Terra's all the time. But yeah, we're sitting in a great spot now. If I would have swapped into Shen Pao there, that could have been tough. That could have been a tough, like, I would have threw the match there. But from here, I'm just going to spam Sucker Punch all day. And I'm just going to go drop some Heavy Slams on Dragon Pole. But that should be game. No problem. Not one singular problem. Not one singular problem. And even if I would have swapped Shen Pao or Iron Hands, Fake Out wouldn't have worked on Dragon Ball. So I'm actually really happy I didn't blow that match by doing that. So let's see what our opponent does. We, we, we're just going to spam Sucker Punch for eight moves in a row. If you, if you want to like protect and stuff like that. But I'm throwing out here. That's your KO. Nope, it's going to Sash up. And I have Sash myself. And on top of that, I got Iron Hands coming in here with a heavy slam for the win. He goes for Phantom Force. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. This match is over with. This match is over with. Just in case Dragon Pole outspeeds us, we'll go for a normal move. And then we'll just heavy slam on top of that. And Dragon Pole does outspeed us. Phantom Force comes in here. We live on 12 regardless. Ice Spinner's gonna fly. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. First match, really, really solid all around. Cloud Sire definitely tearing it up here in match number one. Gotta love it. Let's hop into our second match, go back to back. On our way to go back to back. Hopping into our second match, going up against another Urshfu team with Tornadish, Landorus, Fluttermane, Amoongus, and Iron Hand. So, very meta ish team. A lot of strong Pokemon that we see a lot. How should we play this one? How should we go into it? I kind of want to go Trick Room again. I kind of really like the Trick Room squad, right? Fur Graph's going to be nice because it can pop Trick Room, A, and on top of that, B, it can block fake outs that will be coming in if they want to lead Iron Hand. So, actually, yeah, I really like Fur Graph here. I really do like Fruit Ramp. I might go same. I might go same squad. I go same squad. If I lead Iron Hands. I could go with you instead, but I really like Iron Hands, especially for fake out purposes. Works wonders for us. So yeah, I'm gonna go in with these two. Uh, Covert Cloak is a little scary. Actually, never mind. I was gonna say Covert Cloak would be scary on the Tornadus because it could block my fake out and then taunt Fruit Ramp. But Fruit Ramp blocks taunts because of Prankster. Really, really strong Pokemon. So I'm just going to rock in with the uh, same squad. I think same squad is our best bet of winning here. And I would love to grab ourselves a win here in match number two. And just go back to back and guarantee yourselves a winning record. So let's see who they're, they're going to lead. I can see Lando. I can see Urshfu. I can see Tornadus. I just feel as I feel as all these Pokemon could be options. But Furgraf is just so good. I feel like whenever I use Furgraf, I kind of control the battle a lot more. So they're going to go Tornadus alongside with Urshi Ursh. And I'm just going to fake out the Urshfu and... Go from there, right? Fake out the Earth Street Pop Trick Room. I'm trying to think, do I should I terrestrialize here? No, I don't have to. I do not have to. So I'm gonna pop trick room. I'm gonna go for a fake out, and we'll go from there. We shall go from there. I might terrestrialize next turn depending on what's happening. Because he could just close combat at me. Nah, we're fine, we're fine. We might not even hit the waste Terra. So we pick out the Earth Fruit. A Bleak Wind Storm is going to fly. Go ahead, give me the speed drops. We want the speed drops. Thank you very much. This will be our pop and trick. 
Minus speed means plus speed. Plus speed means minus speed. We're reversing everything. I remember when I was a kid, I was like, dude, what does this even do? <laughs> like, what does trick number even do? But I might from here... Actually, no. We're just going to side shock the Tornadus, and I will just wild charge down this slot. Oh, is this Dark Urshifu? It's dark. What is up with us versus Dark Urshifus? It's weird. I don't like it. I don't like it. What is up with that? It's a withdrawn Urshifu. Who are you going to go into, kind sir? Who are you going to? A Moongi. Moongi Moongi's going to come out here. The Moongus comes out here, we're throwing a nice little Drain Punch. I can Psy Shock it next turn and probably KO it. But Psy Shock's going to chunk up some damage on Tornadus. Drain Punch flying. Doing about five. Doing about five, which is awesome. And we get back about three. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So another Bleak Wind Storm is probably flying. Rocky Helmet doing me dirty again. And Bleak Wind Storm land no problem. And getting a crit on my- That's it. I'm bringing out Cloud Sire. It's all over for you. Big mistake. Big mistake. That is that is just absurd right there. Like I, I really actually really want it. Uh I really want an Iron Hands there. Or not Iron Hands for a grip. I really want to throw a Psy Shock into that Amuga slot. Would have been great. Would have been lovely. But now, with deal with this, um, I might try to put him to sleep first, but I'm just gonna go straight for a gunk shot. I do as much damage as I possibly can, and I might just want to double down into a Moogus here, try to get rid of it. That's what I'm going to do, because I think both of us are going to be slower than Amoongus, and I'd rather not get put to sleep. So I'm just going to go straight after Amoongus here. That's so annoying. That is so absurdly annoying. Honestly, as I went for a Heavy Slam into it, this is probably does the most damage, and he's going to set up a tail, which is kind of weird. Don't know how to feel about that. Gunk Shot coming out here. Doing some nice damage. So we Gunk Shot up, Heavy Slam's going to come out here. And we almost KO. Almost. Not enough. Not enough. And he goes for a spore into my Cloddy. Leave my Clod Sire alone. Leave him alone. So from here, I am going to just stay in here. I guess I'll try to go for a Simon Tantrum. And I'll just Wild Charge to finish off to an honest. That really hurts, dude. I needed my Phrygraph there. And you crit me on a bleak windstorm. Cloud is going to be asleep. We're wasting out some turns here. I do have Shen Pao in the back end, which I really, really like for later purposes. And I'm going to Wild Charge to take out Duranatus. And I get a crit on that. Like, I don't need a crit there. I don't need it. <laughs> I simply don't need it. We'll take some recoil. Are you, you better not be sporing me. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. Even when I'm playing, I'm sitting there. I'm like, I, I don't want to double spore because it's kind of annoying. Sometimes I'll do it if I have to, but like our opponent doesn't have to right now. That's like that's only like a last ditch effort, you know. But they should put in like a a feature in competitive play if more Pokemon are asleep on the field, less turns at last. So from here, we're kind of hoping Cloud Star is gonna wake up. And how many turns are left in this this room full trick? One. Really sucks for us because I'm gonna go for a gunk shot into this thing. And if I can land a heavy slam. But I'm gonna be slumped. It ends up withdrawing a Moongus. Moongus gets withdrawal and Urshfu comes back out here. Bad dang Urshfu. Cloud Slayer's slumped. All my Pokemon are sleeping. Dazzling Beam's gonna come out here. Kill my iron hands. And my most positive thing was a boost energy. Wow, you keep my iron hands alive. Just go after Cloud Sire. Still slumped, really hurting the soul right here. And yeah, that's we're, we're in a rough spot. We're in a rough spot. This is not looking good for us now. Not looking good for us. All because of a dang critical hit. Absurd. Shadow Ball's gonna come out here. Kind of hoping he doubled down the Cloud Sire at this point. Let's see who he does. We do have Berry. Could Berry help us out? It'd be very good if it does. Look at Blow coming in here. Can you soak this? You don't. Guaranteed crit. I'm not worried about it. But if I can wake up here, that'd be lovely. Can I wake up? Can I wake up? Let's go. Let's go. Because I should be able to KO here and get back a ton of HP. Now we're in this game. Now we came to play. Now we came to play. We came to play. Actually, we're still in a tough position here. Um. Okay. 
Eowyn's gone now. I get out Shen Pao. Um, Amoongus also comes out here. And so does Shen Pao. So what I'm thinking here, what I'm thinking here is just Ice Spinner, Amoongus, and then Terrastalize Heavy Slam. Right? We saved our Terra for late in the game. This should work pretty well for us. Should work pretty well. Because on top of the Grass Terra, being able to soak up uh, a Fairy Shot, it makes us not, or it makes us be immune to uh, Rage Powder. L late game Terra could clutch up for us. Could clutch up. And I always hate going up against late game Terra because it always comes back to bite me, especially when I'm uh, versing it. When I'm versing it, you know it's coming out. You're like, oh, he's going to Terra here, and it's like at the perfect time. And that's exactly what we're doing here. Grass slides at the perfect time. Rage Powders not affecting us. We should be able to eat up whatever this Fluttermane has to offer. Dazzle Gleam. Then you're going to Shadow Ball on me. I invest it. I should be able to eat that up. Cool. And now Ice Spinner flies. Going to get rid of Amoongus. Bang, bang. And we can say bye-bye to Fluttermane because it's not surviving this Heavy Slam. And even if it does, I would just constantly suck a punch to finish off this match. Come on, man. That's too easy. It's way too easy. Actually, that match was actually kind of hard. But I'm going to say it's too easy. Because that's too easy. 2-0. Winning record guaranteed. Let's hop to a third. Look for a perfect record. Your boy is absolutely buzzing right now. Sitting at 2-0. Hopping into a third and final battle and going up against an off meta squad, Jolteon and Glaceon with Azelf. I've been seeing a lot of uh, ghost terror types and Azelf exploding. Hopefully we're not dealing with that. But they also have Tinkaton, Talonflame, and last but not least, Frugraph. So from here, I'm going to lead Dragapult Chen Pao. It just seems like a solid lead for us. He might lead Tinkaton. If he does, that's fine by me. I could care less. And in the back end, we're going to go Fluttermane and maybe just have a little bit of Cloud Sire action in the back end, right? Or do I go Iron Hands? Let's go Iron Hands. We already showcased Cloud Sire. Plus, I kind of want him to get a winning or a perfect record. And Iron Hands is a bit better in these situations. So, I'm all about it. I'm all about it. But, yo, Cloud Sire is awesome. I loved using him today. So much fun. So much fun. Especially popping the Trick Room with Frigograph. Frigograph is so easy to set up Trick Room with. It just sets it up and it gets cooking from there. It's so nice. It really is. Especially with the safety goggles. It's lovely. Because then it can't be put to sleep. It can't be Rage Powder. All that good stuff. It's just awesome. Like, Frigraph is arguably the best Trick Room setter in all of Pokemon. And competitive. Like, it's one of the best to ever do it. I love it. Like, most of the time you need, like, Indeedee or Amoongus to help the Trick Room setter set it up. Like, ah, I'll just terrestrialize and soak up some shots and pop this with Frigraph by itself. It's so funny. But they end up leading these two. Uh, I'm going to terrestrialize Shen Pao here in the Ghost. Because Fake Out is probably coming into me. So... I don't know, they just trash slice the ghost. And I think I'm just going to choice in a dragon arts here and just send them both Glaceons away. Could do that. Or I could you turn out. I might just you turn out. Let you turn out. I'll save my boy. So I'll you turn here. And actually I'll just protect. I'll just protect. There's no need to waste my terror. There's no need to waste my terror. We know he's gonna go for a fake out in this slot, so. Really no need to waste the Terra. And they're gonna end up terrestrializing. Glaceon, you, you terrestrialize near? Or Tinkathon? It's gonna be Glaceon. Into what type? Of? Into ground. This thing's getting groundy with it. Getting real groundy with it. I'm just gonna protect the Shen Pao. We're not dealing with this. And we're gonna U turn pivot. There's the fake out. There's the fake out that we knew was happening. So actually, I could just hit that thing with an ice move next turn. That's fine by me. You want to you want to slice into ground? Come on, man. Don't make this that easy for me. But from here, now I'm just gonna bring out probably just Iron Hands, right? I can figure out the Tinkaton. Um, can just go from there, right? Yeah, I'm with it. I am with it. So the hands come out here. I doubt they're going for a Terra Blast in the Iron Hands slot. I highly doubt it. I'm just gonna go for an Icy one. That's fine. Iron Hands is already slower than that, guys. It might have been a misclick Terra, in all honesty. But that was just a bad Terra. A real bad Terra. But from here, I'm just going to fake out the Tinkaton. Do a tad bit of damage. I'm just going to Ice Spinner down the Glaceon slot. If you want to swap Glaceon, that's fine by me. The other Pokemon that's coming in is going to take some big damage. Get up. 
I, I'm doing so good today. I'm doing so good today. Even in, actually the past two days, because the last video I uploaded, 16 minutes. Come on, man, that's unheard of. 16 minutes for 3 now. We must swept every single opponent that we played. We were killing it with Pelipper most of the day. But from here, we fake out Tinkaton. We say bye bye to Glaceon. That was just an easy KO. And we'll go from there. I doubt Tinkaton is Cobra Cloak. I highly doubt that. But I'd be surprised if it is. That'd be that'd be kind of annoying if it is. Okay, cool. It's not. It flinches. <laughs> so they make it flinch. I could swap Iron Hands again to get Fake Out later. But for Rigorafts coming in here, I mean, I'm just going to drop it. It's pretty simple, straightforward, right? It's a pretty simple, straightforward thing. Actually, I mean, I don't have to. I always forget his part Psychic, too. I just remember normal. But you know what? I'm just going to Drain Punch and Tinkaton. And I'll just Third Chop it, right? I'll just Third Chop, get rid of that. Come on, dude. Our opponent's making it too easy for us. Wasted their Terra. And now we're just sitting here with these guys. Yo, Shen Pao looks so dope. I love some of the Gen 9 Pokemon. Like Cloud Sire, like Shen Pao. I just think a lot of this Gen 9 Pokemon like, killed it on the design. Armorous, Rule Edge, they look insanely good. Tinkaton, I think Tinkaton's a cool Pokemon as well. But Third Chop's gonna come out here. He's probably hit me with a, with like a giant the Gigaton Hammer move, but I'm sashed. Yep, there's Gigaton Hammer, that's fine. I'm sashed. Let me go from there. That move's so cool. Just a giant hammer to the face. <laughs> it's so cool. Tinkaton is orb. We are gonna drain punch. Get back a little bit of HP and do some big time damage in the meantime. So from here, I could protect Shen Pao. I don't really think there's a need to. I think we just drain punch and we just throw a chop in the slot. Again, if he wants to swap for Rigoraph, that's totally fine by me, because then the back end Pokemon's gonna take a big time damage. Ah, come on, man. This is too easy. This is too easy, man. We'll see what they want to do. Because I saw Fluttermane in the back end, and Fluttermane's a god. Fluttermane's insanely strong. Ever since Series 2, when they put that thing in here, it has not left the meta scene. It has not, not even close. Not even close. Its typing's amazing. Add Terrasalization hits like a truck. It's so fast. It's top tier. Top tier. No problem. It ends up withdrawing Tinkathon. That's a weird withdrawal there. I would have withdrawn the Frigograph, but let's see if he goes into Town Flame. He's gonna now have to take this punch and I get rid of its scale moves. Cool. Third Chop's gonna fly. See you later, Frigograph. But he wants his fake out. I understand. I understand that you want to fake out. I totally get it. I totally understand. Well, from here, Drain Punch gonna fly. Do some more damage. And. I think we just. Did we Terrasalize here? We could. <laughs> we could Terrasalize on 1 HP. Which I am gonna do. I'm gonna Terrasalize on 1 HP. Because I know you're faking out my. I know you're faking out my Shen Pao slot. And then I'll Sucker Punch and get rid of the Talon Flame. Come on, man. Yo, this is too easy. <laughs> this is too easy. <laughs> We're reading this fake out like a book. No problem. Right into the Ghost Tower. If you fake out my Iron Hands, that's no problem because then you just fake out Iron Hands. My Shen Pao is still going to suck a punch of KO Town Flame. That's going to be a clean sweep. No problem. Clean little sweep. I believe it's going to be sweet. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but my, from my calculations, it looks like it's going to be sweet. Yeah, there's the fake out. Come on, man. Just stop with that nonsense. Cancel the battle. Sucker Punch flying through here. We get rid of Town Flame. We read our opponent super easily there. That's game set match. GG's. GG's. Stream punch flying here. Nice little sweep. My calculations were correct. We go 3 0 and grab you guys another perfect record. Not one, not two, but three victories in today's video. 3 0, perfect record, and showcase Cloud Sire really, really well. Absolutely love this Pokemon, especially pairing up with Frigograph and dropping Trick Room. It's so, so strong. And then you got Dragapult and Shen Pao and back end. Once Trick Room ends, They'll clean up any mess. Any mess there is. And then Fluttermane. I don't think we used Fluttermane today, but Fluttermane was there. Fluttermane was definitely there. And I'm actually glad we didn't really get to use Fluttermane. We got to use some off-meta Pokemon. Pokemon that you guys haven't seen before, and we absolutely killed it with them. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to leave a like on it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go out. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.